Well, being um, diagnosed as a type 1 diabetic some time ago, I needed information because it's a whole life-changing um, sort of disorder. So you need lots of information and easy to read information. So for me, it was valuable uh, because diabetes affects so much more than just the blood sugars, it's your eyes, it's your skin, it's your feet. So actually having something to be able to read that's easy to read is vital. Um, to be honest, a lot of the leaflets, they try and pack far too much in. Quite often it's websites that are better because at least it gives you the chance to put so much content in there and explain in greater detail, whereas with a leaflet you may only have two or three pages in which to get the message over. So to actually find a website that's got that information on is so useful, or finding an organisation that has lots of pages of information, such as Diabetes UK, um, is, is fantastic. When I was first diagnosed, I was given lots of leaflets at the hospital and some of them were contradictory. So you would think that if they were giving them to you and they want to uh, secure your health, that they would make sure that they all say the same thing and they didn't. And then you sit there in a quandary wondering, so which one do I do? Which one do I do? Um, and that's where actually having the internet there is a backup really to find out which is the most popular answer to that particular question. Online is, is quite good. Um, I think it has to be, some people just want them easy read and that's fine. But actually when you're stuck in front of a, um, a health professional, they sometimes use the technical terms and the medical names. So a website or information that's got both technical and medical names and a more accessible sort of description of what they're talking about is far more useful for me um, because I'm not a medical professional and I wouldn't understand. Uh, and that helps me to control my diabetes. And that ultimately is what keeps me alive and fit and well.